Now, you've been in jail how many times? Too many times, bro. Like, yeah. I've been going to jail my life, bro. So when you talking about going to jail as a, as a rapper or just going to jail, period? Just overall, how many times do you think you've been in jail? <clears throat> I don't know, like 24 times. Like 24. Yeah. One thing I, I notice about you. But when I go, see, at a, at a young age, when I go, I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Vice versa, but now we got bum money. You know what I'm saying? One you thing know. I notice about you is you don't do drugs. No. I don't I've do. never talked to you. You never like had some type of like weed smell to you. I don't do none of that. Or you never like been faded. No, I ain't you no. always aware. I'm, yeah, I'm focused. You never tried it? Yeah. Uh, Long time ago. I smoked weed when I was like 15. That was it. Yeah. Other than that, I ain't know no drugs. Like drinking? No, I don't do none of that. I don't want no Miley, I don't want no Perk, I don't want no, I don't want no Sir, I don't want no uh Ciroc, I don't want no NJ, I don't want no 1800, I don't want no Kush, I don't want no uh cookies, uh OG, I don't want none of that, no moon rock, yeah. I don't want no cigarette, I don't want no black and mail, I don't want no heroin, I don't want no, I want nothing. I don't want no shrooms, I don't want I don't want no Zan, I don't want none of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But by you being around that, because I know you got oh, yeah, entourage of people who yeah 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 teachers on they do their thing yeah and I don't, I don't do it either. Um, what what? How do you not get the urge to do it? Because I know you go through stress. They ain't never been like my style. They ain't never been my style. I ain't never been a nigga. Uh, I'm trying to get high in the bed. Oh, uh, give me a piece of that Miley. Give me a piece of that. I ain't. They ain't never been my style. Like, bro, I don't. Bro, I don't like. Just like I don't like smoking, I don't like crab legs and teeth. I don't like this. I don't, <laughs> I don't like this shit. So that's just how I look at it. I feel like you shooting slugs with the seafood shit. No, nah, I'm just saying, I know that's how you do it. That's my shit. That, that's, be, my, that's my vice. That's but, your shit. But what's your vice, though? Everybody got a vice that they kind of, whether if it's sex or if it's, it may be traveling, man, it could be anything. Man, my, 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 my heart was, back in the day, my heart was getting in trouble, man. So now I'm just, I'm high with life, man. So the judge, you say the same thing. Every time you come here, you ain't never got no dirty way. Never. Like, every time you done been here, you ain't never tested positive for no dirty way. What is you doing that, you know, that gets you going to even do these type of crimes? The crime is what you be going <laughs> But like, man, it's like, like, bro, I be, bro, nah, bro, my high be something else, bro. I don't, you know. Do you think you having a PO? How long you been on probation for? I'm, I'm off now, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm off now. But, but when was the first time you had a PO? Two, 2006. So you that may be the all reason the way to why. Two, I look. I've been on papers all the way to 2006. I just got out 2017. That long, yeah. bro. That's a long time, man. So, but but what I'm saying is, why you having a PO for nah, 13 I years? Then, I could have still been doing my thing. That don't stop, man. Like now. Nah. Nigga can, man, man, come on. You know that, man. Yeah. Smoking and drinking and shit. P.O. ain't, ain't stopping it. Like, come on, bro. Like, but that ain't never been my shit. P.O. ain't got, like, I'm telling the P.O., the P.O. getting mad on some shit like, you finna take three U.A.s. Damn! <laughs> Y'all need you to come in and take another one and woo woo Cause they can't believe, like, nah, you ain't doing any crimes and you ain't on, and then yo, and then like the people I'm associated with associated with at the time who I wasn't supposed to be with, when they going to jail, all my little partners, they high, they finding this in their system, they find this. And hey, this ain't in your system. Like, you we gonna test you three times. Like, so that ain't never been my shit. I tell them all the time, bro, that ain't never been my shit. I don't, I don't even like niggas smoking weed around me. Ask all my partners. Oh God. Like, it get me sick. Like when we be in the yo, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to rap a same woo woo. And, the, and, and my partner them, my brother them, ain't got the bitch. Kush class, just. Like, bro, y'all gotta get up out this bitch for I can't even produce. I just told Boots on the interview. We was in uh, LA. We was in California doing an uh, interview on Fuse TV. Boots asked me, uh, uh, do yo, do my smoking habits bother you in the studio? I told him, hell yeah, nigga. Nigga, just, we was on the Mike Tyson show uh, in LA. I'm like, damn, Boosie, you know, four blunts, bitch, I'm dying over here. Mike talking, <laughs> you sitting right here, it, it's clad in his home, I'm, I'm trying not to cough, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking so like, yeah, like, I ain't never been. Teachers, I don't know, let them do their thing. That just ain't never been there. Have you ever worked a nine to five? Because I know- I ain't the, never had a job. But the PO, they make people get a job sometimes. Yeah, I know, they were mad at me because I try to tell them rap is my job. Man. 
That's not no job. But look at me now. Yeah. So why you not getting a job? They didn't try to punish you over that. I'm gonna tell you like this: POs, they threaten you in a lot of ways. You don't pay fees, you going to jail. You don't get a job, you going to jail. Um, I ain't really never seen too many people like if you ain't got no job, you going to jail. So like, I can't really say like, yeah, they, I just get threatened all the time. Like you, you don't get a job, you want, but I ain't never. Hell nah, I ain't, I ain't never had a job. I uh. I try to, uh, I applied at Kroger's. I applied at Kroger's one day on Forest Lane. And my mama took me, I ain't know how to fill out no application. And they, I, it, it wasn't the one on the paper. They had it on the computer in the front of the store. Key I ain't know how to do that. You know what I'm saying? So like, my mama took me place to place and, and, and we got the Kroger's job. That's the only people called me back. You know what I'm saying? It was hot in the bitch out there. I went out there and it was hot. Talking about we want you to push the bags. Is that well, I said I thought I was doing the camp. Oh no, I got right on the bus and went back to the hood. <laughs> I, mean, I know. <laughs> hey, when I first got out of TDC, like, like, so now I ain't never had no job, bro. Like, nah, fool. I, I, you know what it was crazy? I said last year, I said I need somebody to give me a job, and I was gonna take a whole camera crew and everything, like. I want somebody to really give me a job. Like, don't don't give me no leverage because I'm Mo3 and because I woo, woo, woo. I want you to really do what, like, the job thing. Like, if I really got to sit in this drive through, I want to see what they feel like. Like, I was going to do that last year. I just, a lot of shit had happened and shit, so I ain't never get to do it. But, like, I want to really, like, bro, give me a job, bro. I don't care if it's Waterberg or anything. Like, give me a job. I, I want to I wanna see what the job like, bro. Like, I be seeing people talking about, oh, got to clock in this bitch ass job, fool, and what's going down. You can't get on your phone. Yeah, I'll, I want to see what they like. Like, put me in there with niggas going live. They work, man, they work. I get out two hours. Woo, the whole ass job. I want to I wanna feel it. I want to feel it. So, you know what I'm saying? If somebody looking at this and they want to hire me, bro, oh, God, I'm going to come work for a week, some day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Treat me just like the workers I, I want to see. You get what I'm saying? So, like. I want to experience that to this day. I want to go get a job, like, you yeah, know. Yeah, now, now you have a real good relationship with Boosie, right? That's yeah, your favorite rapper. That's my favorite. That's my, that's my favorite street name. That's my favorite person. Yeah. Bro. Like, you know, it's, it's bigger than rap. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, shit, that was my idol. I looked up to him. So, like. I know this shit's I, like a dream come true, right? Yeah, it, it was. That's one, of the, that's one of the dreams that came true. Like, I tell Boosie that all the time. Like, my favorite rapper. He's my favorite street nigga. Like. You get what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. you know. Now y'all got a whole tape that came out. Yeah, yeah, that whole, that whole crazy. Thing. Yeah. What do you think? Like, have you learned anything by being around Boosie? Like, well, uh, any like pointers about like how to how to move being a rapper or shit like that? Yeah, yeah. and yeah, I've learned a lot. And uh, most of all, like, I learned that shit like this, like, it go back to them pictures I post. Look at this nigga, Sam Bad Rules, nigga. From the bottom, like Garfield Street, like he here now. Then we had the Boost Estates, bowling alley in his house. That's a hood nigga still having fun. Like he did all this, went to jail and fighting cases and niggas turning on him, uh, niggas ratting on him, baby mamas and uh, bitches he was fucking with, switching on him and losing partners and losing partners to to, to the gun violence. And, like I did all it, you know what I'm saying? So I learned like, yo, yeah, nigga, you, you can change it around. You can have shit. Look at my nigga Boots, he, he got shit. He be happy as a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? It's a regular hood nigga, you know what I'm saying? But he living good. And that's what I be trying to, like, go back to them pictures. I be trying to paint the same picture. Especially for my young niggas, like, bro, it's possible, bitch. I was just with y'all. I was just with y'all on the block. We were just in the north saying, man, this rap shit, man, one day it gonna work. Yeah, I hope it work, you know what I'm saying? And like, it, shit, work like a motherfucker. Yeah. So, you know. So how did you meet Boosie? Like, what was he? You like, how did you meet Boosie at the beginning? Like, oh, uh, oh, uh, at the uh, shoe store. I Man, I met. If you gonna get technical, if you, is you saying how I met Boosie? Like, met him and, and he acknowledged me and talked to me, or you talking about have I just met? Because I don't seen him a lot of time before. He didn't know who I was. Like on some rap shit though. Like, oh yeah, uh, uh, at the mile at Redbird. He had a, a a shoe sign and he had a uh, a meet and greet. A meet and greet. Yeah, I remember that. And uh, niggas was hyping me up like. I remember this. Go up there, bro. 
just he gonna know who you is. He gonna say something to you, bro. Like, just go in there, bro, and let him know who you is. I'm like, cause the last time, the last last to the first time, I put the, I had told him like when I first seen the nigga, like, we was in El Paso. He had a show and shit, and like he, they put his room next right to my door. I'm like, oh, they don't put they don't put the nigga next door to me. You know what I'm saying? I asked nigga for a picture. He said, yo. He said, man, hurry up, man. Come. He said, man, hurry up, man. I'm tired. I said, oh, yeah, I ain't no problem. I told him that too. He told me, man, for real. I said, yeah, yeah. I was like, God <laughs> damn. But like, uh, but like when he first acknowledged me, like niggas hyped me up, like, go in there. He just go in there and tell, he gonna know who you is. Like, bro, I don't know. You was nervous a little bit? Yeah. Bro, I don't know. She, we walking up, we walking a mile. I boy, what's up? He get the going. Oh, that's my three. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. You selling our shows and you woo woo. They say you that nigga. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's up now. I'm talking <laughs> shit. I'm talking big shit. Yeah, bitch, oh, God. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. Anyway, so it's like, that was, it, 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 it went from there. Like, and that was like four and a half years ago. Yeah. Like, it went from there. Have you ever paid for a feature? Because I'm just going back to the baby's interview when the baby got on by paying for a feature. Not really just got on, but it helped his career. Did you ever like pay for a feature to get you to another level? I ain't, I ain't being funny. I ain't being none, none of that. On God, yeah. I ain't never paid for a feature. I ain't really got too many features. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't never paid for no feature that I, nah. Like that, that money bag yo, that money bag yo feature, he gave to a nigga. Video too. Uh, Black Youngster gave me a feature, uh, Boosie. Like they gave me them features. Uh, I got feature no cap. Uh, like I ain't never paid for no feature. Like I ain't saying I'm I'm this. I ain't never paid. I'm just saying they ain't, they ain't say, bro, it costs this, bro, it costs that. Yeah. Like they ain't. Because when I when I speak with rappers, it's always a yeah, y'all pay for a feature. Well, fuck no, I've never paid. It's, I ain't I ain't saying I never paid for a feature because I was about to pay for a feature not too long ago. So like, yeah. nah, I ain't never like they ain't never charged. Yeah. And that's not something that like. You really, you really didn't never had to do it though, like, cause, yeah, like, I, yeah, you know, like, I ain't, I, I ain't never looked at it like, man, like, I need a feature, you know, what I'm you know, I sang and rap, so I be holding my own weight on my own songs, like, but, you know, just to reach out and, you know, what I'm saying, and network and, you know, connect over and connect over there, like, yeah, so the features I do got, like, yeah, I, was, you know, what I'm saying, like, them houses, that's what's up, like, it worked, but like, I done gave away free features where. Niggas be like, bro, how you get this on Mo3? And niggas be like, bro, you, he ain't charge you? Like, nah, I ain't charge. Niggas, sometimes niggas be gonna do it. Like, nigga fuck with you and a nigga, nigga see your vision or a nigga just sometimes be liking the song. Wishing it was there type shit. Like, so I'm sure gonna get on this other. Like, yeah. Now, now everybody, well, everybody with Boosie has 46 million yeah. uh, views on YouTube. And then on Spotify, I think it has like seven, eight million streams. Apple probably got way more than that. Uh, when would this go gold? Will it ever go gold or? It was supposed to, like, yeah. matter of fact, that go back to, that type of shit go back to that politics, not knowing shit, like as far as when I was telling you about digital and iTunes before I knew about going gold. But yeah, they was just telling me, we were just talking about that, like, about the whole, uh, everybody about to go gold. And I'm like, how? Like, like, I don't even know how the whole setup work. You get what I'm saying? But that, that was already that, that was already told to me like three months ago. Like this hoe about to go gold. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. And I'll be your first plat. Yeah. Man, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so what in the next few by the end of the year, you think it will, it will be gold? I don't know, man. So yeah. like, I wouldn't never even looking forward to that. So like yeah. when it come, it gonna come. Did you I'm know just, that that was the one? Nah, I ain't know. Nah, because I, I remember you thought and I was the one. I don't be never knowing really what song the one. I just be knowing what song be working right now. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's what I be rolling with. I don't never go on the yo and be like, that's the one. That's the one. You just record. I record. Do you write or you just you you punch in? No, I punch in. Mm. Yeah, I just be freestyling. Wow. Yeah. yeah, writing ain't the thing no more, it seems like. Cause now nah, it take too it take too long to, especially when you're trying to make five songs in this amount of time. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna go in there and make sure it's that crack though, it's that press. Like I ain't getting that saying no bullshit. 